This is a daily love podcast. L O V. Legere, orare, vivere. To read, to pray, to live. The Word made flesh. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello to all of you listening. This is Flora on behalf of the Lexio Divina team, bringing you the daily L O V podcast. Today, Wednesday of the 13th week in ordinary time, we celebrate the feast of the dedication of the cathedral. And in other years, we celebrated the first martyrs of the See of Rome. When the city of Rome has been devastated by fire in the year 64, the Emperor Nero launched a persecution against the Christians, who were thrown to the wild beasts in the arena or sock in tar and used as living torches. Their feast was celebrated the day after the feast of Saints Peter and Paul. Christ is the spouse of the Church. Come, let us adore Him. It is by exploring the Word of Christ that we root ourselves in Him, deepen our relationship with Him, and see His presence in our life. Dear brothers and sisters, let's all begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Spirit of Truth, who comes from Thee, Holy God, enlighten our minds and lead us all to the truth, as Your Son promised us. Amen. So, today we are in the Gospel according to Matthew, and we read chapter 16, verses 13 to 15. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea, Philippi, He put this question to His disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? And they said, some say he is John the Baptist, some Elijah, and others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. But you, he said, who do you say I am? So just a few things to nourish our reflection of these verses. There is a story that goes like this. A lover pressed his suit unsuccessfully for many months, suffering the atrocious pains of rejection. Finally, his sweetheart yielded, come to such and such a place, at such and such an hour, she said. So the lover finally found himself seated beside his beloved. He pulled out a sheaf of love letters that he had written to her over the months. There were passionate expressions of pain and burning desire. He began to read them aloud. The minutes passed and he read on and on. Finally, the woman burst out. What kind of a blockhead are you? Those letters fell of your longing. Well, here I am with you at last, and you are lost in your ludicrous letters. In prayer, we can be like the talkative lover who keeps talking and talking without any awareness of who we have with us. Today, Jesus asks us a very personal question that needs our personal response. Who do you say I am? Jesus wants our answer to come from a living encounter with him. Today, not from books we read or of our own logics we have in our heads. We need to stay in silence and experience His love so that we can truly give our answer to who He is, for He is at this point of our faith life. Brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord for a moment. Father, create in us silence so that we may listen to your voice in creation and in the scriptures in events and in people, above all in the poor and suffering. May your word guide us, so that we too, like the two disciples from Emmaus, may experience the force of the resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, and witness to others that He is alive in our midst, a source of fraternity, justice, and peace. O loving Father, you call your children to walk in the light of Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We keep on praying for all of you listeners and for the prayer intentions of our LOV Verbum Day family, composed of 279 members. 
We also dedicate our prayers to all the intentions that our ministry, our ministry received through our prayer request form. These intentions can be anonymous or you can add your name if you or your people you are praying for want to be mentioned. Remember that the Lexio Divina prayer group gathering on Wednesday evening prays for all those intentions. Let us now pray for an anonymous intention submitted as for Sister Callista and the union of the sisters of her community. O oh Lord, we come before you with this particular intention and implore you to fulfill this intention in accordance with your will. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We now pray for our three communities, Osmotherly, Legion of Mary from St. Teresa's Church, Living Waters in Trinidad and Tobago. We pray for Bishop Terence and all the clergy of the Middlesbrough Diocese, for the pilgrims and their special intentions to the shrine of Our Lady of Mount Grace Osmotherly. For my family and friends, those in Malaysia, in India and in UK, for their health and well-being. We pray for all those who have asked for the conversion of their families. We pray also especially for my husband Raj for his upcoming operation, that it will be he will be have a successful recovery. We pray for Bishop Declan and our Holy Father Pope Francis. Now let us pause for a few seconds and present all this intention we have in our hearts to the Lord. We now conclude the time together by bringing all these intentions towards our merciful Mother Mary, so that she may intercede for us to her beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by saying, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all for listening and praying with us. God bless you all, and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, and to follow us on Instagram. God bless us all. The Love Verbum Day Ministry hopes that this podcast helps you to deeply welcome the Word of God and give you the strength to put the Word into practice where you are. If you have any query or you want to send us prayer intentions, use our email address, which is L O V underscore. Verbum Dei, V-E-R-B-U-M-D-E-I, at Outlook.com. Thank you.